What's going on, people? Welcome back to We Are Tottenham TV. Uh, Leicester City 2, Tottenham Hotspur 4 on the final day of the Premier League season for 2020-2021. We've won a game of football. We're in the <laughs> Conference League. We finished seventh in the league. We finish above Arsenal. I'm joined by Gordon. Uh, firstly, Gordon, how are you? Um, and what did you make of the game? I thought the game was excellent. I don't think we had anybody who had a particularly awful game which is a mark above where we are normally, and I'm really excited for it. A lot of our guys who typically are lacking a little bit and might be considered passengers all had at least one bright spot today, which mm -hmm. I thought was great. So I'm Yeah, it. I agree. All right, there were some good performances out there. I mean, it was a couple of them looked like they were playing for their future um, at the club. I mean, Matt Doherty was really good today. I thought at times Winks was all right. Um, and then the changes I thought worked well and obviously won us the game in the end. Yeah. Um, what did you make of um, what, did, what did you, yeah, but I mean, on the, on the whole, good performances. Are you happy that we've qualified for the conference league? I'll take the conference league. I mean, I don't think we should be sending our team to the conference league, at least in the early stages, like our senior guys. Yeah. I think that's a great spot for the guys who were kind of developing, like the youngsters in the academy. And then guys like Joe Roden, if we bring in two experienced center backs in the summer, there's no reason to just have him sitting on the bench. We can have that as like an extra training session that kind of matters. Yeah, I, I mean, that's just one way to look at it. Um, I, I, look, there's good, there's pros and cons about it. Um, I think one big pro about today is, though, that we have finished above Arsenal, which is always nice, regardless um, of the circumstances. But um, today, we're, look, I, what did you think of uh, the defensive performance? I know we gave away two penalties, but I thought we looked okay at the back. I So my issue with the defensive performance, I think we were a little sloppy at the beginning, but we brought it back, which was nice to see, because normally it's the reverse and then we give away the late goals. And I also yeah. don't think the Sanchez penalty was a penalty. No, I agree. I think Vardy grabbed him and then jumped on the ground, which uh -huh. whatever, that's how you get a penalty now, I guess. But wasn't a fan of that. Um, well, look, what, what, do you, what do you think is the next big... Like, obviously, we've got the Kane future, which since we last spoke, the Kane situation has arisen. Yeah. Um, and obviously, lots and lots to sort out. We need a manager um etc etc i mean i could go on all day about everything that needs yeah. to change and things that need to happen um what, what i mean do you see kane staying what's your thoughts on that i could see him staying but i think that means that we have to be making big signings this summer i think if levy decides that he really wants kane to stay that has to be kane's conditions we have to be getting a manager who's here and who's going to be able to win us things and develop our youth and make the most of the money that we spend in the summer so we're not just tossing money around and getting squad players that don't actually improve the team because otherwise Kane has the, amb the ambition to leave. And that's something that we kind of have yeah. to accept because if he wants to go, he kind of can because an unhappy Harry Kane isn't one who's going to be putting in the work that we need him to be doing because he's irreplaceable as he is now. And if we see a decline there, I don't see him being – as impactful and then we need to bring in guys anyway if he can't do what he does yeah so i think that's our biggest issue is yeah, look, it was holding it was a, it was quite upsetting seeing well not upsetting but disappointing at the end of, you know seeing him hug everyone it looked like it, it could have been the last time we see him in a tottenham shirt um but aside from harry kane i thought there were some good performances going forward as well i thought uh um Lucas Moore and Gareth Bale. Obviously, Gareth Bale changed the game. Yeah. Um, uh, what did you make of those two coming off the bench? I think we need Bale next year, especially yeah. if Kane leaves, because we can move Bale into the middle. I know he prefers to play on the right, but he's so clinical in front of goal. I just want him taking shots all day. There's no reason to leave him hanging out on the outside with iffy chances to actually cut inside and score. And then Lucas Mora came in and had an instant impact. You know, he, he gave us the energy that he typically brings. And that I think that's what we needed to get across the line. Mm -hmm. No, I, I agree. Um, so are you look, looking ahead to next season? And obviously, let, let's hope that we can get a good manager. And what do you think is the most important, important thing? Do you think it's more important to keep Kane? Or do you think it's more important to... Um, to bring in some proper, proper defenders and 
uh, and, and just rebuild the whole squad. It's a difficult one because you can sell, you can rebuild the entire team with, if you sell Harry Kane with the money that we get, or you can keep him and make a couple of signings and bring in a coach and hope that, and essentially hope for the best. What do you think is the more, firstly, more like it, more likely scenario and secondly, more suitable? I think it's more likely that Kane leaves, but okay. I think if we can, if we sell Aurier, like it looks like we're going to, and then mm-hmm. get one of the younger right backs, um, like an Aaron's or a Lanty, we can we can kind of get by with our defense, especially if we move Tanganga in and start playing Roden more, because both of them are very, they have a lot of potential, and I think if we can unlock that potential, we don't necessarily need to spend as much. Plus, that probably involves offloading one of our center backs, which should help. Find I think you should offload well. all of them personally. I yeah. don't know about you. I wouldn't be upset if all of them left. I wouldn't be disappointed at all. I think it's hard to send all of them though, and that's the problem. Like no, no one's I, I don't think they all more than like, but honestly, it, if it was announced tomorrow that they were all leaving, I would honestly not care one bit. I don't know if you disagree, um, but I feel like you might disagree on one or two of them by by that look. No, yeah. I think I think it would be a mistake to let go of Roden, and I. Don't oh, okay, want- fine. Yeah, yeah, we'll keep him. But I think Dyer can go, Toby can go, and Sanchez can go. The only issue uh, is finding buyers who yeah. would actually pay anything reasonable for them because we can't let them go for like $5 million. No, I, I agree. Um, what What do you make of um, Dele Ali's performance today? I thought he was disappointing again after Wednesday night, subbed off. Would you yeah. let him go in the summer? If we get an offer that's reasonable for him, I would say – between so i like him a lot and i i wish him all the best in the future but if we get an offer that's like 30 to 60 million anywhere in there and 60 is a lot for him right now but if we get anything close to that i think we kind of have to take it just because yeah, he's been here for a really long time and he hasn't been improving and he's been getting a little bit worse and i don't really trust that no, yeah, sorry, a little bit of internet cut out there, but yeah, no, I agree. Um, I think he's been not the same player for a couple of years now, uh, and I think it might be time to cash in as well. Um, I think you're right there. Um, but just going back to the game, really good positive today. Obviously, we finished above Arsenal. We couldn't let them finish above us after um, the season that they've had. Well, we both had, really. It would be the proper kick in the teeth if they had done that, but thankfully they didn't. You, I mean, I'm buzzing about that. You must be as well. Yeah. No, that I think that's the most important part about today. Like the conference league is neat and that's whatever. We get to play a bunch of smaller teams and see what they actually look like. But finishing <laughs> above Arsenal just it matters so much more. Yeah. Uh it's it's saying it's bragging bragging rights at the end of the day, albeit shameless ones. Um but we'll take we'll take it, I think. Um on the game today, last the sort of the last question. Well, I I where I don't know how to get this across because I, I spoke about this with Marlon eh, mixed emotions about today because we won the game we finished in a European spot above Arsenal but then obviously it's the conference league Kane might be off we don't have a manager so it's m- such mixed up in the air feelings what what would you say you're more positive or after today or still a bit on the negative side I feel much better at? about today than where I was like last week because okay. we got to see a real Matt Doherty actually functioning as who the, the player we <laughs> thought he was. Yeah. We got to see Harry Winks doing things that we actually need him to do. He made a really nice forward pass in the first half, and then he actually took the professional foul that we needed him to take in the second half. And I think as a group, the players did better this week or today than they have done in the past. And mm-hmm. if we lose Kane, we lose him. Nothing was going to change in the past week or so. So I what think would you, better. What would you rate Ryan Mason's performance as interim manager out of 10 since he started? I, five. I've yeah. been really disappointed with him. Um, we won today, but I think it could have been a whole lot easier to win today if we had access to Ndombele and Lo Celso. I know he said they weren't quite fit, but I'm not sure where that's coming from because something – must have happened in training between Wednesday and now, yeah. or we're just not playing them because we don't want to, which I don't think is acceptable when you're playing guys like Winks and Delhi. 
Yeah, you're spot on. I, the, your two record signings not included in the match day squad is yeah. beyond uh, baffling for me. Yeah. Um, but Gordon, look, it's been a pleasure. The season has ended. We finished seventh. We will be in Europe technically next season. Um, thank you for coming on today. Thank you for coming on in previous weeks after the games. Hopefully we can get you back on next season and hopefully fresh. You know, I, one thing I'll say about today, fresh start now. Season's done. Get the manager in. Fresh start. We go again. Um, it's been a roller coaster ride this season. Thank you for coming on as always. It's an absolute pleasure to talk with you. Um, and like, comment, subscribe. And as always, come on, come you Spurs. On, Spurs. Thank <laughs> you.